This is what the studio looks like, unfortunately, sometimes. It gets kind of crazy in the Ultra Dad house. All right, let's get organized. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take a look at my setup and my gear for the Mohican 100. This is something I sort of did for the Cruel Jewel 100, but I didn't really go through it in detail. And so tonight is gonna to be kind of a long video. I'm gonna go through all my gear and let you know exactly what uh, I typically bring for my 100 mile races. Um, for any ultra for that matter, but um, generally, you know, this is probably more exhaustive and a bigger list of things um, for a longer race like a 100 miler. So, all right, so let's take a look. This is something I've kind of been doing. I did for a Fat Dog 120, I did for the Mohican 100, um, I did for the Cruel Jewel 100, and then I'm doing again for this uh, Mohican 100 race. So, let's take a look at what we've got. First of all, you know, I am a YouTuber, so number one, right in the middle, we have my GoPro. Uh, that is kind of the heart and soul of what I do. I love to film my races, my adventures, my experience, as you know, so that's why you're watching the video. So my GoPro right there is a GoPro 8 Black. Uh, I really like this one. Uh, the GoPro 7 is a really good buy as well, so, you know, definitely... Um, it pretty much does everything the 8 will do. The 8 can be a little bit smoother, has a little bit better um, stabilization, so I go with the 8. But currently, there's a 9. I just uh, didn't think it was worth the upgrade for me. So GoPro 8 Hero, GoPro 8 Hero Black right there. This is the watch I'll be, I'll be bringing. So this is kind of the other main uh, core part of my gear for me. It's very important to have a good watch. This is the uh, Phoenix. This is, sorry, the Garmin Phoenix. 6 Pro. Uh, this is the usual, the normal size 6 Pro, uh, not the 6X 6, 6 Pro, uh, which is a little bit bigger than this. Uh, and this is not this, there's also a 6S, which is a little bit smaller than this. So kind of right in the middle. I really have been enjoying this watch. Um, I also have been wearing the Koros Vertex as well, which I don't have on the table. Um, I may or may not bring it for this race. We'll see. But um, so far, I really, really like the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro uh, watch, GPS watch. So there's my watch. Uh, a couple side items around here. I always bring a paracord bracelet. Uh, I just think it's a good survival type thing, uh, safety type thing to have. Um, you know, if you were to break your arm or something, you can use it for a sling. Obviously, if you're do so doing something like the Fat Dog 120, uh, it'd be more useful when you're up in the mountains um, than the Mohican 100 which is relatively civil and it's, it's kind of, you know, there's plenty of people around and so probably not necessary, but I always bring it uh, just to be kind of an EDC thing, just to be ready, everyday carry type thing. Have my uh, bug repellent right here. Um, we'll probably have a bigger can of it, but this is just kind of to show you that we do, I do uh, bring bug repellent, of course, if you're gonna be in the woods, that's something you'll wanna do. Uh, I may not carry, I definitely will not carry all of this. Uh, for this race, now I did, for Fat Dog 120, I did carry the majority of this kind of stuff uh, because it was pretty much self-supported. There were some drop bags, but you had to have everything you needed with you at all times because you're in the mountains, in in, uh, um, in the Cascade Mountains, in the Northern Cascades, I think. So, But um, for the Mohican 100, I will probably carry just a fraction of this with me, but I will have it available um, at least once every loop, which is once every marathon, every 26 miles. So, all right. So like one of the things I probably won't carry with me all at all times at all are these, uh, flashlights. I just put these in here because I think they're a safety item. If you're going to be out camping, you probably should bring it. Um, uh, so we are camping before the Mohican 100 race begins. Also have, uh, a knife pocket knife here. I like this knife. It's a nice one. Uh, it's made by CRKT and uh, it's a nice little knife for camping. Um, moving on down here, we've got the Nathan um, uh, Nathan handheld water bottles. I really like these a lot. Uh, they have these little pockets right here where you can put things in, zip them up. Um, so I, sometimes I'll put gels in there and stuff like that. I haven't decided yet if I will try to do a loop with just these uh, rather than carrying my pack over here. We'll see, uh, we'll see what I end up doing. 
I'm a little nervous trying that, but then again, there's so many aid stations and I'll have a, my full crew there that I think, um, I think I probably could get away with that and it might be beneficial to not have to carry that pack all the time. So we'll see. Um, moving right along, we've got our Leckie trekking poles. These are the aluminum variety, uh, but they do have the cork grip, which is really nice. Uh, it's just much better for your hands uh, than rubber. I really like them. Also have the nice straps that are adjustable to make sure that I can, I can uh, really make it cinch it down and, and make it uh, very useful and get good leverage on the poles. So got these trekking poles. They're the tri, I guess, trifold or whatever you call them. Um, but they have this nice, the nice, I think, titanium tip, which is really, or carbide tip, which is really, really sharp and nice and it digs into the dirt. So really like these trekking poles. Lecky, it was a, a good choice to get a nice quality pair, I think. They've lasted me for several years now and done a really good job. All right, moving on. We got the flip belt. Always take that along uh, for music, uh, gels, uh, my phone, anything like that. Um, definitely if I try to go with the handhelds, water bottles, I will have my flip belt on, of course. Um, we have our Halo headband here. This is a new one I just bought. It's pretty cool. Uh, the American flag is on it. And the big thing about the Halo headband is this yellow uh, rubber uh, seal right here. They call it the wet seal. But basically what it does is it, it takes the sweat that forms on your forehead and it channels it around your eyes. So it doesn't, it, most of the sweat does not go into your eyebrows and which will ultimately end up in your eyes. So I really like this. And you know, it's a headband that, you know, every headband will eventually, eventually saturate with sweat, but it's, I really like Halo, this brand, it's a really good one. And uh, that's the second one I've owned. The first one fell apart. So I think I threw that away recently. I've also got another buff here. Uh, I'm going to bring a couple more buffs as well. Uh, good to change those out as much as I can to keep sweat out of my eyes. I am going to bring a light um, a hat here just in case. I mean, I don't think there's any reason that I would need it, but uh, it's going to be in the 50s probably last time I checked at night. So it's possible I could get a little bit chilly uh, and want to throw that on. We'll see. Doubtful though. Uh, always bring some duct tape and then the head, the, uh, uh, the, the headlamps or torches, as they say in Britain. Um, so these, I have two torches, two head headlamps. Um, one was a cheapo uh, Petzl right here. Petzl's a, a good brand. They have more expensive ones, but this is the Takina. It was, I think, $40 or something, but um, it's my backup headlamp. Um, I have actually worn this. Uh, I, worn the, I wore this at Fat Dog. I wore this one um, at, uh, Cruel Jewel, or not Cruel Jewel, F Fat Dog and Mohican the first time as my primary headlamp. So that's possible. It, it can work, but, um, it's pretty weak actually. And it's kind of before I knew anything about headlamps. My primary headlamp is this, uh, Phoenix HM 65 RT, which is a total beast. Um, it's got flood and spotlight potential. I think this is spot flood. I got it backwards, but this is amazing. This is a, just a really, really nice headlamp. It's got um, these pretty awesome batteries. Here's, here's a spare battery here. This one you can actually plug into a micro SD cable and plug it in, but um, it's a 3,500 milliamp battery. I have one in the light right now and I have a spare. So more than enough battery juice to last me through a night or two. Uh, but this is just an amazing lamp. Um, if you haven't watched my 12 hour run that I did before the Cruelja 100, I did talk a little bit about this and showed you kind of how it worked uh, at night because I, I was using it. Uh, check it out, upper right-hand corner, uh, if you're interested. So the Phoenix Phoenix HM65RT. All right, so I'll definitely have that headlamp. Um, now moving right along to some of the kind of necessities over here, we've got uh, salt stick uh, caps, basically salt pills. Uh, I really like these. Uh, these are not the chewable ones. These are the ones I just pop in and swallow. Uh, really are nice to kind of help you bounce back and avoid cramping and stuff like that on a really hot day. Um, so I also have caffeine pills. These are vital as well to keep me awake at night. And I'll be taking these for sure. Um, and then I also have kind of these just small items. Uh, some of these I've already talked about, the, caf the uh, salt pills. And I've got some ibuprofen. Um, I always bring some kind of uh, anti-diarrheal as well. Uh, that's in there, a couple of caplets just in case. Uh, sorry about that, a little TMI, but hey, that's what happens on <laughs> with ultras sometimes. 
This is kind of a little first aid pack, a little bit of duct tape in there. I've got some uh, lubricant here, Aquaphor, uh, some chapstick, and some uh, potable aqua water, you know, water purifier tablets. Some of this stuff, obviously, I won't be using clear eyes because I wear contacts. So a bunch of good stuff. Got some uh, uh, Neutrogena sunscreen stick here, which is nice. Also got some more sunscreen here. And then I have a liquid bandage thing here so that I, uh, in case I get a cut or something like that, I can apply this and it'll it'll kind of seal itself. So a lot of good stuff here. Uh, also have, of course, um, again, contacts. So I've got some extra uh, contact solution. And I have this uh, Luca or Luco, Luco tape. And this is really good stuff um, for injuries on your foot, uh, foot care. Um, also, if you have like an ankle injury, you can wrap this around. Uh, so really nice. It's tape. Well, it's tape. You probably wouldn't want to wrap this around your ankle too much, but you could. Um, so Luco tape. Haven't really used that a whole lot. Hopefully I won't need to. We'll see. All right, moving on. Uh, we've got the cool, this cool towel. I love this thing. I, I And I'm not just saying it's a cool towel. Like it's a cool towel. So it's it's fabric, it kind of, I assume it like super wicks the, the water away from your skin, giving you a sensation that it's, it's really cold when it gets wet. So it's really awesome. I think if I can, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this into a tube so I can put ice in it uh, and drape it over my shoulders. So that's kind of what I, one thing I definitely need to remember to do. So I'm gonna leave this kind of here on top of my bag just to make sure I do that. Uh, moving on to nutrition. So I've got Gin Gins as let's start with the main nutrition, honey stinger waffles, uh, uh, cliff blocks and spring energy gels. So it's kind of, uh, <laughs> uh, kind of a three, uh, um, I don't know how you describe it, but basically these are three different things, three different parts of my nutrition plan. Uh, honey stingers. I haven't really used a whole lot. It's kind of an unknown quantity for me. Um, as far as whether I really would enjoy them. I've tried them a few times. Sometimes I didn't really like them. Sometimes I did. I'm going to bring them anyway. I bought a box, so I might as well try to use them. I've also got cliff blocks. Um, these I like, but they get old for me after three or four in a row. So the big ones are the spring energy gels. I love spring energy. Uh, it's very expensive from a gel standpoint. I think it's like almost $3 per gel. Maybe it's three fifty. It's a lot of money. But uh, I went ahead and bought 20. You do the math. But I really enjoy this taste. It's something that goes down easy. It has never made me feel like sick or anything like that. So when you're trying to go 100 miles, you go. To, you got. You definitely just have to pull out the stops and spend the money. So Spring Energy, uh, love this product, and I'm bringing a bunch of them. So I especially like the Canterbury flavor. It's just like kind of this berry flavor. It's really really good, like a strawberry raspberry type flavor, and uh, highly recommend it. So. That's what I'm bringing for my nutrition. Um, of course, the key is you wanna eat as much real food as you can at the aid stations. So uh, we're definitely gonna have, uh, hopefully, some uh, sandwiches, things like that, at our own personal aid station that my family and my crew are gonna be manning, um, which is right along the campground. And um, so, we'll, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe some pizza, I don't know. We'll try to get some real food in there and because uh, you wanna eat as much as you can. We'll definitely be packing that stuff in as well at the aid stations. Um, and then these are sort of for on the course to make sure that I don't get hungry. So uh, we're definitely gonna have uh, hopefully some uh, sandwiches, things like that at our own personal aid station that my family and my crew are gonna be manning, um, which is right along the campground. And um, so, we'll, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, maybe some pizza, I don't know. We'll try to get some real food in there and uh, cause you wanna eat as much as you can. We'll definitely be packing that stuff in as well at the aid stations. Um, and then these are sort of for on the course to make sure that I don't get hungry. So, because if there's anything I've learned this year with my ultra running, it is nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. I got to make sure that I'm not hungry uh, because when I get hungry, I start to feel nauseous and that's what I don't want. So underneath the gels, we have my Solomon jacket, which I love. It's a waterproof jacket. Uh, it also will keep me pretty warm if I get chilly in the 50 degree weather, which I doubt I will because I'm going to be hot and sweating from all the physical activity, but it's always nice to have and it could rain. There's a slight chance for rain, so I'll have that with me. Um, and as always, I have my Solomon uh, 
pack and let's take a look. I think it's a 12. It's a big one. It's way too big for this kind of ultra, but I don't have the money to be buying multiple packs. But so this is the, I don't know. I think it wore away. It's not 12. I think it's the 10 liter pack, perhaps. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the Solomon 10 liter pack. This is not one of their fancy uh, skin scents packs or whatever you call them. Uh, I think that's the shoe actually, but it's kind of a thicker material, but it's a great pack to have um, for longer distances. So definitely bringing it, it does have the uh, hydration bladder in it uh, with, with I think 50 ounces. So I'll be using that. I'm not sure how much gear I'll actually put in the main pouch just because I want to save on weight. Uh, since I'll be having so many opportunities for aid, um, aid stations, you know, will be plentiful. And so I'm not sure I'll need to pack in a lot of stuff into the pack, but I'll yep, definitely use it for hydration and then carrying some of these things like GoPros um, and some of these snacks and stuff like that. So also I probably carry a, an extra hat because I sweat through those so quickly. So I bring a couple of my favorite hats, my Cincinnati Reds hat and my um, Under Armour hat that I've been using over the past couple of years. As always, I've got a bunch of random stuff that I have used in the past. I always try to bring extra Ziploc bags. Um, a product that my mom put me onto, Dude Wipes, which is pretty cool. Um, that's basically like these Purell wipes, um, same kind of thing. And uh, I always bring some other items. Um, this is just kind of my catch-all bin. Um, and then, of course, last but not least my drone. So I won't be carrying with that. I won't be carrying that with me on the course, uh, but I will try to get some drone footage before the race because I know I'll be too exhausted after the race to do it. Uh, maybe I'll let my, my dad will be there and he can, he flies drones. So maybe he can get some good drone footage. We shall see, but this is the drone, the Mavic Air 2. I love this drone. It's a really high quality drone, takes epic uh, cinematic shots. And so I'll be bringing that with me try to capture some of the aerial shots and aerial views that you have at the Mohican 100. So that's a quick overview of all of my gear. I think I just covered everything, believe it or not. That was pretty crazy. Uh, if you're still with us with this video, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you like this particular video, don't forget to give it a like, thumbs up. Um, as well. I'm not sure if that'll be up or down, but do it thumbs up if you would. <laughs> so, and hit the bell notification if you'd like as well to join my, uh, my channel and see when my videos come out. So thanks again for hanging in to the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, definitely put them below. Any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Gear is one of my favorite things to talk about, so uh, be sure to respond to your comments if you do. Uh, make a comment, and I greatly appreciate that as well. Um, this is probably one of the last videos that I'll publish before the race. Uh, so we're just a couple days out. This is Tuesday night, and uh, so we're just three days out from the Mohican 100. Um, this is my, I think, my best opportunity to finish a 100-mile race. So very, very excited, and I can't wait to share the experience with you. So thanks again for joining me. I think that's all I got. We'll catch you in the next one.